Sporting Journal Radio, presented by Onyx. Now it's time to check in with Joe Henry from Lake of the Woods Tourism to get a fishing report from that big old walleye factory in northern Minnesota. Joe, who's definitely not still driving, joining us here on the show. He's pulled over and parked, if you're listening to this on the radio. Joe, how's it going? Hey, gentlemen, how are you guys? <laughs> I'm doing well. Uh, where are you coming home from? You know what? Coming home from Lake of the Woods. I uh, was just up there doing a little, uh, I had some meetings and stuff, and uh, you know, I actually had a chance to fish uh, this morning with uh, Congressman Pete Stauber for uh, District 8, and uh, really a, a neat experience, Brett. You know, uh, Congressman Stauber is a, a big supporter of Lake of the Woods County, you know, uh, with redistricting. You know, last year we had uh, Congresswoman Michelle Fishbach as our representative, and you know, this year it's, it's Congressman Pete Stauber because of redistricting, and you know, he's always had that northeast corner of the state. Actually, goes all the way down to north of the city, and uh, really a big uh, district, but District Eight. Um, but yeah, Lake of the Woods is new to him, so he came over to give us a little bit of love and support us, and talk about how important that tourism is to not only northern Minnesota, but you know, uh, certainly Lake of the Woods County. How did he do? He did good. He did really good. You know, uh, he wasn't uh, he wasn't real used to using uh, electronics for ice fishing, so I set him up with my electronics and. Got him doing the one-two punch of jigging one line and dead stick of the other one. And, uh, you know, I think he got uh, most of his fish jigging. Uh, got one on a dead stick. But, uh, you know, yeah, he, he picked it up quick. You know, I mean, uh, you could tell he wasn't he wasn't overly used to doing it. But, well, I'll tell you what, after uh, seeing a few fish on the screen, you know, and, and talking to, kind of talking him through about, all right, man, you got about 10 to 30 seconds to make that fish react. You got to do something different. And uh, he started trying different things and, you know, started setting that hook a little harder, and I mean, I, I was impressed. He really did a nice job. Looks like you had a good conversation with him, and it looked like a few uh, uh, faces that I recognized there in that picture. And then also, I think we've done a podcast from those same tables. It was a darn good one, too. Yes, that's, that's right. Yeah. Well, you know, we had a, we had a meeting with them. It uh, happened to be we rotate resorts when we do things like that, but we were at Arnison's Rocky Point, you know, for our meeting, and that was a, of course, a great atmosphere to, to hold a meeting at, and. Uh, um, yeah, just, uh, you know, really, really we had a, a tourism board meeting and, you know, we had uh, Congressman Stopper join us for that, talk about some different topics and issues and things. And then, you know, uh, we took him fishing just uh, just for the morning. And, uh, again, really, really a, a very productive visit. And um, you know, we appreciate the support. You know, not everybody uh, understands that tourism is the number one industry up in Lake Lewis County. And, you know, we got basically 68 different lodging businesses that include, you know, sleeper fish houses and, Airbnb, Airbnb, DRBL, uh, hotels and resorts. So really, uh, t- tourism is important to our area. You know, the other thing that, you know, I don't think everybody realizes is that, you know, that tourism is important to the rest of the economy. I mean, when you take a look at, uh, there's a five to seven time trickle down effect for every dollar spent on lodging. You know, that's, uh, that's important to, you know, to the, to the whole county and to all of the northern Minnesota, anywhere that has, tourism so it's again for all those reasons he was there supporting us you know and advocating for us and such and it's very much appreciated well that's good i hope if he's going to be representing you guys that he would come and and visit and and learn about the area and also do some fishing i love it when i see see those guys actually get out there and do some of these things that mean so much to people of this state and people that are invested in the, the local economies that involve these type of recreational activities. And with the snowstorm, Joe, of course, uh, conditions are going to be changing just a little bit, but how were pre, pre-snowstorm this week, how were conditions at Lake of the Woods? Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, uh, you know, up there it was sunny and, uh, you know, um, you know, I think northern Minnesota is going to get missed by uh, the majority of it. So, um, so things were great, and uh, you know, uh, fishing is it's February fishing, so that really means that a lot of those fish are spread out. I think the oxygen content of the water is probably a little bit lower, so you really have to fish every single fish, and you know, it, it helps to have electronics. Um, and then, you know, uh, I'm talking to some of the guides too. They were talking about how. You know, you need to be about three to six inches off the bottom. You use some small jigging spoons with a, a piece of minnow head or a piece of tail. I'm using a plain hook, you know, chartreuse or uh, or even a pink hook, and uh, having a live minnow on that about, uh, you know, four to six inches off the bottom also. And, you know, all those little things and working every single fish pretty soon by the end of the day, if you work every bite window, every small school that comes through, 
you're going to have you're not fishing your bucket, and that's the name of the game, you know. Well, it's not too early to start thinking about uh, Rainy River and spring fishing. Of course, you got the extended walleye season up there, too. And we'll talk more about that next week here on the show, Joe. But if people want to get a get a late winter, early spring trip planned to Lake of the Woods, what should they do? Well, you know, remember, Brett, you know, uh, I've been Lake of the Woods. You know, despite what they say in the media down in the metro area, you know, ice fishing up at Lake of the Woods is extended. So we go through, you know, March 31st with our fish houses. And then, you know, walleye and saugers, April 14th pike never closed so we got hypothetically dependent upon mother nature of course we got a whole potentially month of ice fishing left so it's it's frozen up there there's three feet of ice and uh, it's still winter but if you want to find out more about uh, you know ice fishing march or, or even spring fishing the rainy river best thing to do is check out our website and that is lake of the woods mn.com hear more at sportingjournalradio.com or wherever you get podcasts Come ice fish the famous waters of Minnesota's Lake of the Woods, the walleye capital of the world. Experience full-service resorts featuring heated fish houses, ice transportation, meal plans, and sleeper house options. From the northwest angle to the south shore, Rainy River and Baudette, the Midwest's number one ice fishing destination. Walleye, sauger, perch, and northern pike, Minnesota's Lake of the Woods, best fishing anywhere. For more information, log on to lakeofthewoodsmn.com.